Charter House in London, the scene of a conference to discuss the future of Nigeria, a meeting which will no doubt have profound effects upon the lives of 32 million people. Leaders representing all the principal parties in the Federation of Nigeria were attending the conference, which was expected to last for several weeks. Mr. Alan Lennox Boyd, Secretary of State for the Colonies, welcomed the delegates to the opening session. Foremost among them were the Governor General of the Federation, the Premiers of the three regions, and the leader of government business in the southern Cameroons. Mr. Lennox Boyd began the proceedings by reminding the delegates that the conference was being held in fulfillment of a pledge given in 1953 for the early grant, subject to certain safeguards, of regional self-government to those regions of Nigeria which desire it. The Sardar of Sokotul, the Premier of the Northern Region, awarded credit to the success of the present constitution, not only to the foresight of those who framed it, but also to the determination of those who worked it. He went on to pay tribute to the civil servants, whom he described as the backbone of the government. Chief Awolowo, Premier of the Western Region, said that the delegates were among people with whom Nigeria has had long and close associations. I believe, he said, that I'm voicing the sentiments of all the people of Nigeria when I say that under self-government, it would be the pride and happiness of the people of Nigeria to continue this association. Dr. Ezekwe, Premier of the Eastern Region, said we should be optimistic about the outcome of this conference. A reason for saying this is that the concrete expression given to British colonial policy, as applied to the Sudan, Ghana, Malaya and Singapore, has made it more fully believed in and appreciated because we are living witnesses of these visible and tangible examples.